we will not sign a franchise agreement until we meet that person. Jerry and I must meet them. Excellent. Wow. That is a fantastic process you've got in place. And it is yeah, it's very successful and it's very systematic. It, you know, it makes sure that they're able to do their due diligence and we're able to do our due diligence. Yeah, it really does need to be a mesh. You know, it has to be a good fit for both parties involved, absolutely. So yeah. when you have when you have a, a potential franchisee who's coming in and wants to run their own franchise, are you looking at them saying, hey, we have the process in place for being able to do the actual, the whatever it may be, whether it's junk removal or carpet cleaning, whichever falls under jdogbrands.com. Go check them out right now. You have the process in place to be able to conduct it. What about from a business management standpoint? You know, loaded question, do they need a business plan when they're coming in to mm -hmm. JDog or is that something they work with owners on? That, they don't need a business plan. Um, mm -hmm. We kind of help them. That's the great thing about a franchise. A franchise is the business is already built. Um, yes, you, it, it might be good to have some initial goals based on information that you gain, um, but we, we teach you everything that you need. You come into, after you sign your franchise agreement, you come into um, training week, which is, we call it JDOG University, and you get practical, practical application where you, you know, you're learning how to clean every type of floor and upholstery. Um, there's like three days of that. Um, if you're doing junk removal, you go out for one whole day in the field with our uh, local franchisees here. Um, you get a classroom teaching on everything, everything that you need to know to run your business. Um, culture, customer service, workforce resources, business assistance, how to estimate, how to, you know, clean the carpet van, how to, you know, you get everything, you get guerrilla marketing, social media, training, everything. I mean, we, you know, kill yeah, you with that. A full thing. Monty. It is, it is. It's the full Monty. So yeah. by the time, by the time you leave, we then follow you on a ramp up call weekly for 30 to 60 days to make sure that you're checking off all your boxes, um, that you have everything you need to be able to have your phones turn on and the, the flip, you know, the switch flipped. So basically, you know, you start doing calls and, you know, doing your business. So it's a, it's a full ramp up situation and it's, it's taken a while. I mean, you know, we've been doing this now for five years and so it's been a constant evolution, but we realized that, you know, the key is getting the, the J-Dog launched correctly. You know, they have to do a grand opening. They need to partner with their chamber. You know, these are successful things that if you do, will launch your business in a successful, um, very systematic way. Oh, and I love that. Get you on the ground running. There's so many takeaways right there, people. Hey, if you're not paying attention, we're in the admin and logistics paragraph here on the 5P podcast with Tracy Flanagan and jdogbrands.com. She's talking through some of the minutia on what you can get into, what to expect as a franchisee with J-Dog Brands, but I love this takeaway right here. You gotta partner with your chamber. Are there any other partnerships within a local area that you would turn your franchisees onto? As far as like your chamber of commerce is one of them, maybe your Rotary Club, B&I Group, something like that. B&I Group, Rotary Club, we definitely um, uh, have them partner with the B&I, mm -hmm. the local B&I, because that's a referral network and um, you know, that, that can prove to be very effective. So those, those are all uh, ways to, um, you know, get your name out there in your community. Um, you know, there's a lot of other marketing tools that we give them um, to be able to get the phones to ring and um, just even working with other businesses, you know, is very important. Absolutely. Basic business development 101 right there. You've got to establish relationships between your entities. Right. I hear you. And you'd be, you'd be surprised really um, that I think 
certain business owners take networking events or networking opportunities for granted, but you mm-hmm. never know. You just never know who you don't know yet and who can get you to the next thing or the next thing or connect you here or connect you there. You just never know. Networking opportunities are always an incredible um, and important part of building your business. 